Hello and welcome, I'm Impact Frames, and this is a video about If AI Prompt Maker, which is a script that I made for Automatic 11.11 Web UI that communicates with the Ubabuga API. And what it does is that basically you give it a one line prompt, like a subject or a character and, a, and an action, or a character and another keyword that is related to that character. And then you basically, I have like a, a character that I made for Ubabuga that it does prompts for you. And that's running in the background and it will construct a prompt for you with the uh, Ubabuga model. So that's what it does and how to install it. I'm going to put it in my website here in the, my coffee page. It will be free as, as usual. And you can also have it like in my in my CVTI page. I, you have to just search it because they removed the way it was before that you have your models here. And now if you don't really have a, a trained model, it doesn't appear. So like if you come in here, it won't be. But you can search impact frames and it will be there. And also I have like um, I have a rig and I have another character for Ubabuga that I'm going to release another character after this and another script that does the same, but inside Ubabuga. And yeah, that's this is the model that we're going to be using. And here in, I'm going to show you first the, the flags that you need to run this. Because you are running on the same computer, you're going to need a dash dash API in the automatic LM web UI, the web U, user web UI dot bat. You need a flag called dash dash API and also the listen flag. And in Ubabuga, you need the model that you're going to be using. I try Alpaca native 4-bit. That's the one that works well with this. If you have the 30 billion llama model, that one also works well. I don't know other models because I haven't tried all the models. So another uh, flag that you need is extension space API. So you need this and listen port 7861 and that's because automatic 1111 11 also launched in the same port and if you want to run both at the same time you need that uh, also note that this script only works in the same machine if you want to run it in in another machine you need to change um, the the script internally like you need to go and code the, the number the, of the port it will work, but you need to work the, know the port that you are working on, your machine, your um, your IP address and stuff. Okay, and I'm gonna try to make another script that you can change that dynamically. But I try doing it in the script, and it doesn't work like that. I'm probably gonna need to make an extension for that. Anyway, uh, let's um, go into automatic 11.11 and the text web UI and in the text web UI you need to go into interface and choose the note notebook mode and apply restart interface and then you will have something like this if you have a prompt here you just delete it and leave it like this in the parameters you can leave it like this also I don't think it takes the, these parameters because I am passing them in the script. In the script here, in automatic 11.11, 11, we have the script tab here and you can say if, if I prompt maker. And then you are presented with these three prompts here and you have just to copy your prompt that you want to make. And I'm going to explain this in the in this box, the negative prompt, you can put whatever you want to put here in the suffix. This is more for if you have a LoRa that you want to add and or a textual inversion. And I am adding a textual inversion and two LoRa's here. And in here, basically, you put your subject, which is an Amazon Princess Labyrinth 1.3, which is the location. And I'm trying to see if uh, because I changed this and see if it takes the emphasis and see if that works. So you can change the size like you normally do and apply all these things that you want. You can put 30 and maybe SDP cameras. We are working with Rev Animated. I think that's good. I think that's a good uh, thing. 
and let's uh, generate and here you can see that it will start making output generated in 18 in 18 46 seconds and it was 8.51 tokens not many so this, this might not have worked okay so i think we have an amazon princess here and yeah so basically it says Dreamlike, high resolution, uh, illustration, mid shot, Amazon princess, determined, exploring a mysterious labyrinth, like that's what we said here, retrieving mystical artifacts, an ancient ruins, magical items, hidden secrets, and whatever. And then it has the, the artist and more things that you can add, and also apply the things that we have said, like the textual inversion and all of that. What it didn't do was applying the emphasis and trying to get that to work but it's difficult just with the prompts because what this is is like a soft prompt, no, a soft instruction fine tuning. That's what it is. That's what we're trying to do. Okay, so what it does is it tries to remember the, the conversation and try to replicate the conversation that we had before. And of course, I had to come up with all this uh, way to make good prompts, just generate more. You can change this how you like, you can make other characters, you can make here, I don't know, Phantom 2040. I don't think it's gonna be on the Stable Diffusion training because it's not a very popular character and see here what what it was, it was ah, okay so it's taking the emphasis for the numbers okay so it's amazon princess it was there before i change it amazon princess 1.4 and labyrinth 1.3 but what it does is like um it's random so sometimes it will apply probably the parentheses probably will apply just the numbers so it's uh and that's part of of this thing that you had to be random because what it is is just for ideas and when you are like dry of ideas then you have this uh, character to help you out if you are tired from work like i do all the time uh, <laughs> not all the time but when sometimes i'm tired and just come here and uh, work on this And right now it is, it was a phantom jet. Well, that's what it, to it took. It took a phantom jet and make it um, the thing. Let's see uh, what we can put here. Anyone has any ideas? <laughs> uh, power pop girls. <laughs> the, I'm sure that those won't be Uh, Perf girls, uh, moho ho ho, moho ho ho, city, whatever. I don't think it's moho ho ho city. Johnny Bravo, whatever. But what I want to show is that basically it will take any any small prompt and it will make it something bigger. And what I'm trying to do is like I'm trying to release uh, variations of the prompt. And of course, it didn't took the Powerpuff Girls because it doesn't know what Powerpuff Girls are. Maybe you have to make a Laura for that. Like when I do the Sailor Moon one, you have to actually maybe Sailor Moon is a lot more famous. But even when I do the Sailor Moon ones, you have to make a a Laura for them and if I do a Laura uh, Tokyo City generate let me know if you are interested also in the in the Ubabuga uh, SD SD custom made script because I I'm gonna try to make it better so they approve it as the pull request to have these extra features or maybe the, the proper developer of it will add the features um, maybe he hasn't just had time for it but i put the i put the pull request and i i i think half of the things he needs are there 
And anyway, so it's not Sailor Moon. It doesn't look like Sailor Moon because, of course, it's it's not in the in the training. And maybe you will need to put like a more weighting on it to have to have Sailor Moon. But what it does is that it actually knows uh, the model, the Alpaca native 4B, know what Sailor Moon is, and actually is trying to put uh, even even Japanese artists as 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 the draw of the draftman and is trying to put Japanese uh, if you see here is trying to put Japanese terms to to match the anime style and as you see here it even weighted Tokyo uh, cityscape you see like it has a parenthesis so it, the emphasis is working and um, mm, and the advantage of having it here is that you have the high res, you have the, the batch, you can make more batches, you can send this image to, to in painting and, and perfect it. And so this is just a starting point for you, uh, maybe something like uh, inspiration. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you like this uh, idea. And as, as I said, you can follow me on, on my coffee page and the CV typing. You can you can come here. And I'm also on Reddit. I'm going to post. Uh, I'm going to uh, do a little post on Reddit. And I, I've been like quite popular in there. Thank you very much for for supporting me uh, with your likes and uh, your help. The people who the people who donate. Thank you very much. It's helping me a lot. I really appreciate like you uh, demonstrate your support and also please watch my my other mm, videos in YouTube. There are some interesting things. Uh, there are the stuff about Uba Booga and things. And have a nice weekend. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.